The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the July 26th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past hope everyone out there is having a great day hey let's make sure we have an extraordinary one and the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us not to us that's right when you and i make that one little two by four shift well it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us now today you and i we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets we're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. We'd love to hear from you. Give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, well, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Markets trading mixed right now. You got the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ all green. The Dow's up 37, not by much. The S&P 5, the NASDAQ, one point. Russell's off one and a half. Semis are down 20. They're the big leader to the downside. The trannies are off a quarter percent. That's 35 points. Uh, you've got the uh, gold contract down three bucks. Silver's up six. Pennies like to be crude down 40 cents. Trade out at 71.67. Dollar wise, leading the charge, you've got micro strategy up 117 bucks, 21 points. Amazon 43, 1%. RBC bearings up 40% or 20, $40 or 20%. Sam Adams, what a flyer this is. Upside, downside. It's up 26 bucks. Trading at 77.2781. To the downside, it is, uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. BGNE is a ticker symbol. It's off 59 bucks or 18%. Shopify, 47 bucks, nearly 3%. Mercado Libre, 21, a little over 1%. Willis Towers, Watson, down 20 bucks or 9%. So there's plenty to look at. Of course, I want to look at what you want to uh, look at. Let's go take a look at the uh, get a tour of the general markets. We begin by taking a look at those daily TAS market. Well, did we get, yeah, just the daily, the daily TAS market profile. So as we take a look at the ES Mini, this is going to be day number two above the top of its daily profile, telling us that from a profile standpoint, it's a real breakout. From a price projection standpoint, I'm just simply taking the most recent set of swing points and doing a Fibonacci expansion. So the next price target to the upside is the 1.272 expansion that will get us to 44.30 or thereabouts. If we take a look at the NQ, this is day number three above the top of its bearish structured profile. It has reached the 1.272 expansion level. That's at the 15 144 area, the high of the day, 15,134. Short of some type of bearish reversal candle, that then says the NQ should go target 15,334, the 1.618 expansion. That's really being confirmed to us right now by the Dow. I don't know where the Dow finishes, but it did close on Friday just above the top of its bearish structured daily profile, much like the NQ. You close above a bearish structured profile, there's nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern so that's suggesting that the dow is getting ready to break out and if that's the case then what you should see in the russell 2000 which is trading in a large consolidation but with inside its bullish structure daily profile that suggests that the russell 2000 should make its way up to 2283 and if price can clear 2283 then where it should head to is the top of the consolidation which is inside about the 2350 level now the only thing getting in the way, there's really two elements getting in the way of the markets achieving those higher outcomes. And it really comes from the S&P 500. It comes from the S&P 500 two different ways. The first way, we talked about this on Friday, and that is the RSP. That is the Equal Weighted ETF. 
And typically, the equal weighted ETF, whether it's the RSP for the S&P or the QQEW for the uh, uh, NASDAQ 100, uh, what we typically see is the equal weighted ETF gives us very powerful signals. Well, right now, with the SPIs up at new all-time highs, we do not have that same message for the equal weighted ETF. So that just says caution. Now, if we can see the RSP close above 152.85, then that whole uh, concern would be alleviated. The second concern out here comes from the spot volatility index, which right now is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. So watch for this come day's end. That level is 1781, price is trading at 1819. The reason why that's so important is because when that spot volatility is above or below the 50-day exponential moving average, these rectangles, these squares that you see on my screen show you those periods of time when that is present, meaning they're above the 50-day or below the 50-day. And so right now, price is above the 50-day exponential moving average, and that just says, concern Will Robinson. You just have to be aware of it. It's not a tradable pattern per se, uh, but those are the cautionary things that are existing inside of the market. We've got one of our callers online, and that's Garo in California. Garo, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm very good. How about you, sir? Very good. Thanks so much for asking. How was your weekend? Do anything special? No, nothing. I went horseback riding. Well, that sounds special. That's my fun term? time. Yeah, it's my horseback riding and archery is my fun time. Oh, is it? Okay. So have you been watching some of the Olympics uh, and, and some of the shooting that they're doing? No, not really, though. No. 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 I, <laughs> <laughs> no. At the end, I can see all the scores, but uh, nothing interesting except soccer. I like football and soccer football very, very much. But rather than that, I don't watch nothing else. So how did you like the, uh, the 2021 Euro finals? I have to imagine you watched that. Which which one? The, the football. A couple a couple weeks ago, right? It was England was playing. Who did they play that they lost to? Uh, in the penalty oh, kicks. Oh, uh, yes, yes, the Italy. The, Italy. Yeah, the, 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 it was very, very good. It was very good, good, good play on both sides, both sides. Yeah. But uh, they they win with a penalty, and uh, that, that's not very good. But both of them, they are very good players. The Spain, so you, Italy, England. Uh, France, there are very good players. Every time I watch them, and I really enjoy them very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, d I don't know if you have had a chance. There is a, uh, and I just started, I watched it uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. It's on a Disney Channel. Uh, uh, or not Disney, maybe Apple Plus or Disney Plus. I forget which one it is. And uh -huh. uh, But there, it's, it's called uh, uh, Ted Lasso. It, it's about it's a it's a it's a story and it, it features soccer in there. I think you'd enjoy it if you like a little humor. It's kind of Stevie humor out there, but uh, you know, put maybe put it on your list. But I know we didn't you didn't call to talk to me about all horses and and soccer and uh, and, and yeah. Ted Lasso no. per se. You wanted to talk about Nvidia, so I know we spoke about yes. this before. Tell tell the folks uh, how I can best help you here. Uh, you know what, Carl? We're going to a break. My apology. I just kept no rattling on. I wait. Okay, perfect. So we'll come back. We'll uh, take a look at NVIDIA with Garo. <laughs> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Back, folks. So we're taking a look at NVIDIA with Garo in California, Alaska, uh, just a, a worldly guy. So, Garo, uh, tell folks, uh, how can I best help you in taking a look at NVIDIA? Uh, yes, sir. On Thursday, uh, on 19th of July, I called you regarding this. I asked you that, uh, where would you buy it? Yes. And then you, you told me that I'll buy it right here. It was around 194, 195. Yes. Uh, and then I, I asked that, I said that, well, uh, the, the, the daily chart is not, doesn't show me bull. Uh, still, the candle is under the uh, SAR dot. And then I said, well, how, how far do you think it's going to consolidate? And you told me that I don't have that charting for the short time to tell you that when it's going to be the, the, the lower price for, yes. for entering. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I waited and I didn't buy. I'm still, I'm, I haven't bought it. I'm just waiting for the candle to cross that upper dot. Uh, th at that time on July the um, uh, 19th, it was uh, $199.55, the upper dot value. Uh, today, uh, it is 190 uh, to, Today's price is about 100 and. Uh, 99, no, today is 199.50. That day it was uh, one, uh, I don't remember how much was that. It was sure, uh, sure. almost about uh, 199.35. Uh, today is 199.98.95. Uh, the way it looks like it's going to go to the, um, uh, the candle that it happened on July the 14th. Yes. Uh, the, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, the bottom of that is 170. Eight hundred seventy-nine dollars. Uh, July fourteenth. On July the nineteenth. Nineteenth. Uh, okay. Got it. Yep. Yeah. You think it will get there as consolidated to go all the way down to that point, and that will be the the uh, entering point, or it will uh, it will go uh, below than that. So, a great question, and 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 the very first thing that we're going to take a look at here, we've got our three panel charts, and the chart that I'm really focused on, Garo, is the daily time frame. And on the daily time frame, what we can see here is the current profile is a bearish structured profile, and this went into this went into effect on July 21st, 
And on July 21st, when that was being formed, price closed above it, as it did for the following two sessions. Now, I don't recall exactly what I said when we spoke on Thursday, but if I didn't, I'd be surprised if I didn't. On any kind of a retracement or pullback, the optimum buying area, because price had closed above a bearish structured profile, would be pulling back and testing the center of that bearish structured profile. That print is 189.32. The low today, 189.14. And price has rejected that. Now, if price can close above 191.99 today, that's a suggestion that we would have an A to B equals CD, or we may have an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Now these are the reasons oh, yeah. so we have to we're, we can't just trade only based on profiles. I need to put that together with what the other daily chart is telling me. So when I say the other daily chart I'm referring to my white background chart. And on the white background chart what we can see here mm -hmm. with Nvidia is this top with a TD9 count that was on the trading day of July 7. This bottom with a TD9 count, that is the July 19th date that you're referring to. And even though it doesn't show right here, I can go back to my other chart. Today has been a test of that swing point. And this is a bullish test, meaning it tested that swing point, the top of bar of, uh, of the trading system from July 19th on substantially lighter volume. So this is also giving us a swing point test and rejection. If you can't bust them down, it tries to bust them up. Busting them up here would be either 199.79 or 205.33. So you could draw either an A to B equals CD to the upside or an A to B equals CD to the downside. The reason why I'm saying an A to B equals CD to the upside, or at least that high degree of potential, is because we've got that TD9 count bottom. We get above that bearish structured profile. We pull back, and, and this is where typically counter trend moves would end, and that is at the center of that bearish structure. With regard to the short-term time frame charts, I sent off a message to the folks at, uh, at Ninja Trader this morning about the fact that it wasn't accounting for in the short-term time frames. Uh, I believe there might have been a split or something that went on inside of NVIDIA. Uh, so I can't show you my short-term charts, at least the white background charts. But that's what that's what I would be showing. So again, volume-wise, Garo, when price was down yeah. on July 19th, there was 75 million <laughs> shares. And today, it has done 12.5 million shares. So this is suggesting to you and I that it does not have the energy to push lower. Now, that doesn't really help you out on your parabolic SAR. Now, my dots, for some reason, are always different than yours. When we spoke on Thursday, it was hitting the top of that dot. My dot was 198.87, and the high of that day was 198.87. Now, granted, the very next day, it did, the dot didn't move to the bottom, though. So I was a little bit confused on that. And that's why I was asking you, hey, when it hits the dot, what does that mean? And that's why I then said, well, based on my system, you know, then, then that would really be a, a buy signal. But I still have yes, yes, dots. Yes. I still have dots forming up high. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not a. I'm not even, I'm, I am a beginner when it comes to the parabolic SAR, but you are our master here at TFNN. So we defer to you. So when, it, in this instance here, if my numbers were correct and price hit that level, why is the dot still forming up top versus down below? Or does okay. hitting that price not negate it and say, okay, now I've got to move to the, to the downside? Did Yes, 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 yes. I see what no. Yeah, I, I, I was going to bring an example. Yes. Can I? Do you have a yes. time? Yeah. If I bring mRNA, Moderna. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. You if got you, that up on the if screen you bring here. That, yeah. You will see that in Moderna uh, on, uh, on uh, uh, July the 14th. Yep. You see that candle hit that dot at $240. Yep. And I bought it there. And today I sold it at 340. I made hundred dollars yeah. in nine days. You see, that, that's that's the formation that I'm looking at. But you in see, that instance, this is, in this is what I'm talking about: sharp parabolic dots. When sure, the candle sure. hits the, the the dot and the dot goes down, and from there it, it, the the long starts. That that, yeah. that that and not once I have I'm doing this for the past 22 years. Uh, so that's why I'm waiting for NVIDIA, to, for that candle to hit the upper dot, so the dot will come down, and from there on, I'll get in. So, so a couple questions, a couple questions for you, if I can. So on that day yep. of July 14th, it didn't just hit the dot, it closed above the dot. So is, is, that, is that really, so does it need to close above the parabolic star dot in order to give you that buy signal, or do you, or... 
Is, is that what you're also I – mean, I mean, I know there's more yeah. than just that, but is that one of the elements that's got to close above it, not just touch it? Yeah, that is one of it. In, okay. Um, um, in, in, uh, if, if the candle is above five-day simple moving average, Which the was. candle has to be on top of the five-day, and the candle has to hit the dot, and the dot has to go down. If the dot goes down and the yeah. candle still is under – five-day moving average is no good. It's going to pull back again. It will go back to 21 day. It will hit there maybe two, three days. Then it will go higher. Well, Garo, thank you for that. Everybody listening in, <laughs> go, no, really, everybody listening in, go put Moderna, MRNA, on your screen, put the parabolic SAR, and put the five-day yes. moving average, and you'll see why Garo went ahead and bought Moderna back then. Hey, Garo, thanks so much for the time. We're about thank to go to a heartbreak. Sir. Always good to speak to you. And we'll look forward to speaking to you again. Bye-bye. We'll, we'll, we'll be right back, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's get to a couple of questions that have come in by email here so we don't get uh, – Get all those in, hopefully, by the end of the show. The first one coming in from uh, Justin. Justin wants to take a look at, was wondering if you could give your thoughts on a possible direction of corn. And so I don't know if you're talking about corn, the ETF, or just uh, corn. And, and even if you are, you really need to understand what's going on. First, got to figure out what's inside that. And I don't know what is inside corn, the ETF. It may be, maybe it's a December contract. I don't know. Maybe it's more than just a December contract. But let's go ahead and we'll pull up multiple contracts here as soon as I can find them. There, there we go. 
with regard to corn. So with regard to a direction, so you've got September, which is on the left-hand side. That is, that's really uh, December. That is, is the active contract. So that's what you want to be taking a look at. That's going to be panel number two here. So here's what we know about uh, corn, the December corn futures. But again, you've got to go check, uh, Justin, and figure out which futures contracts, because it could be December of 2021. It could be uh, March of 2022, and it could be May of 2022. I don't know. But with regard to the December corn contract here, it's trading, it's consolidating with inside its daily profile. Really, you've got a rising trend line, a descending trend line. Um, so one level of support is the center because there's both buyers and sellers there. That's at 538.20. And if that level does not hold, meaning there's a close below it, not a move below it, but a close below it, then that brings into play the 517 level. That's where you also see your rising trend line. So you've just got this little version of a consolidation that is going on. And you're asking, what's the possible direction? You've got a long position. I'd have to say the possible direction right now would be more towards the downside. But let me hold on a second here. And I'm really, when I say hold on a second, I'm referring to me, Stevie. Hold on a second here. You've got to go take a look at your white background chart, Stevie. So we, we're doing that. It is a red oscillator and change line that price is trading below. So the bottom of that profile or its breakout level in 521, that seems very likely. If I look at a weekly chart, uh, okay, good. We've got enough data out here. That's not giving us a signal that price should be moving higher necessarily. And just on the short-term time frame. So on the short-term time, oh, this is perfect. So, Justin, on a 30-minute time frame chart, what this generated, what the December corn contract did, was it generated a rose momentum indicator signal. That was at 1030 this morning. It was a bullish piercing candle that formed and price closed above that oscillator and change line. That said, and then on the very next session, price closed above a bearish structured 30-minute profile. Though well, that's a very bullish outcome. And that says price should go take on its next resistance level. That happens to be at 547.25. That is the TD9 breakdown level for the 30 minute time frame. If price gets above that, you should expect a further rally, 561.25. If price doesn't get above that, well, then it was just a nice little intraday rally. Price should pull back to maybe the 538.20 level. If it pulls back to that and holds that, much like we looked at with Garo about Nvidia, that is a, remember that was a bearish structured profile. Price is above it for more than two bars. Any type of counter trend move to the downside should find support in that area, 538.20 out there. So that's what I see just when we take a look at uh, corn. Those are some good parameters for you to use, those intraday time frame uh, charts out here, that 30-minute chart. So I hope that helps you out, and uh, thanks so much for the uh, question, and the uh, best of luck to you on that trade. Tim writes in, he said, I've been long-term holder of Alibaba. So let me get back to my three-panel charts out here, folks. Give me just a moment to do that. The three-panel chart, B-A-B-A. -A -A. And Tim's question is, wondering where do you think the chart, what do you think of the chart, and where do you think it might find support? Okay, excellent question. Uh, so in the case of Alibaba, here's what we know right now, at least with regard to profiles. It's below the daily, gap down gigantically this morning below that width volume. It's below the weekly. Uh, this is going to be potentially week number two below the weekly, and then it is now below the monthly. Month is not over. But, Tim, if price closes below 198.47, that's not a good scene. It says you continue to head lower. Now, head lower to where? So let's pull over the daily, weekly, monthly, and we've got the intraday charts here for Alibaba. We're looking for a TD9 breakout level if we can find one. And on the daily, I don't have anything handy. Uh, do I see any kind of a potential bottom here? You know, today is going to be one potential wave number G, letter G. Now, as part of the Chapman wave, you have to see a higher low before you can call that a seventh wave move. But so many A to B equals CD down patterns. And so therefore, what you really need to find on a daily basis, some kind of bottoming signal is a bullish reversal candle. We don't have that, of course, as we speak right now. The weekly chart here, Tim says, yeah, this is not good. Now, it's only Monday. But a price this week on Friday closed below 196.70. It's below its TD9 breakout level. That says 168.12. That's what the weekly chart would be telling us. And on the monthly chart out here, I don't have anything good to share with you other than this is bar number eight of a weekly chart. That says that TD9 bottom could form this week, next week, or the week after. So you're really back to the daily and weekly to look for signals, and you just don't have any kind of positive signal 
on a, a daily time frame, nor do you have a positive signal right now on a 30 minute time frame. So at this stage here, it looks like Alibaba, BABA, wants to continue to move lower as it's below all different support levels. And the support levels we can find are much further down than where price is trading right now. So, Tim, I hope that helps you out. Uh, Jim writes in. This is the next question out here. And Jim wants to take a look at uh, Roku, R O K U is the uh, ticker symbol. So I'm going to get that fired up on my white background chart. So now let's get in our three panel TAS profile set of charts. So Roku, A to B equals CD pattern to the upside on the daily basis. Price is taking on resistance, which is its all time high. This is the all time high? Yeah, it's the all time high. And that's from the week of February 15th. Now that week, there was 20 million shares that traded hands. Last week, there was 19.9 million shares. So price is moving up into that swing point with the appropriate uh, level of volume out here. And the question is, can price take out that high 486.72? And if it does, boy, if it does, then what I would do is I would say there's an A to B equals CD at the upside that would look like this. The A point out here, Jim, would be down on the week of May 3rd. The B point that I would use is the week of June 28th, and the C point would be last week's low. And that would give you an A to B. So the swing point actually was taken out with volume. The swing point that we're using here was the week of June 28th, did 22 million shares. And last week, this was uh, 19 million shares. So not, not taken out with volume. But that gives you an A to B equals CD up to the 581 level. First thing, though, it's got to clear its all-time high. Not just clear it, but close above the 486.72. As we pull over our other Roku charts, what was your question? Took some of your long position off this morning. I was wondering about the counts and the market profiles. Great. So we, we've given you the market profile data. If I didn't, price is traded above every market profile, daily, weekly, monthly. Now back to the uh, back to the daily time frame out here. See if there's any other signals. You were wondering about counts. Wave number seven. Potential wave number seven pattern out here, uh, but to be, because it's also triggered a road momentum indicator signal, I would need a bearish reversal candle to confirm both those patterns. The uh, weekly says this is a bar following week number nine. And the prior top at its all time high was also a TD9 count top out here. So, Jim, what I don't know, what you don't know, what none of us know, is this going to be a significant high? And the cool thing is, is that because today's high is above last week's high, it's really next week or the week after. If you start, if you start seeing a trade above whatever the high is this week, tells you about that strong momentum move to the upside and like the the fulfillment of that A to B equals CD pattern. And that is what these signals on ticker symbol R O K U are telling Jim C and Stevie R. We'll get back to this break. Melody B wants to take a look at Amazon. And that's what we'll do. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the Amazon. AMZN is the uh, ticker symbol for Melody. And Melody says, can you look at Amazon for the next week or two, support and resistance? So, absolutely. I mean, I, what I can do is I don't know what's going to form as far as support or resistance over the next week or two. I can share with you where, where we're at today. And where we're at today is going from right to left now. So you've got that. I want you to give you the bigger picture. And the bigger picture inside of Amazon is that on a monthly basis, now we just have a few days left in the month to complete here, you're going to get a breakout signal of a consolidation. And that breakout signal of the consolidation gives you a price projection in the 4,200-ish area, 42, 43, somewhere in that level. Now, when you break out of a consolidation, it gives you a measured move equal to or greater than, greater than the consolidation. So I'm not saying, you know, you sell Amazon at 4,300. That just gives us the price projection. Adding to that today is that Amazon is attempting to form, not attempting, it has, uh, because I'm not using my advanced Doppler tool on this chart. And so on Amazon, it has formed a bearish structured weekly profile. And even though that might sound bearish, it's actually bullish. And the reason that it's bullish is because price is above a profile. Supply is well down below. That is a bearish signal out here. Now, with regard to the battle, the battle is really inside the daily set of profiles. The daily set of profiles, price is trading within. The range there for support would be 36.19, but that didn't hold on the first test down. So we want to go take a look at the Amazon chart, daily chart, see what was going on, if anything. But resistance would certainly be 37.59.99, just to be exact out there. So if price can clear the top of that daily profile melody, that then adds to what we're looking at in the longer term, the weekly and the monthly time frames. So your only level of support, your only level of resistance, 37.59, your levels of support, I want to pull up the other chart to see if we can figure something out since that daily profile support did not hold. So I'm coming down here to look at the daily chart, see what we can find. And I don't find anything, not a zip zilch. So... Um, so I'd have to say support is probably about 3,500, not the bottom of that daily profile since it has already failed. Now, on a daily basis, price is above its green oscillator and change line. That's something new today, and that really suggests making run for the 3,759 level. Uh, the weekly time frame chart, so we get the weekly chart here posted. No, no damage here at all. Um, it did generate a road momentum indicator topping pattern when it created that dark cloud cover a couple weeks ago. But... When you create a top, the very first area where price is typically going to run to, that's assuming that the oscillator and change line is below price, is in fact that oscillator and change line. That's exactly what took place last week. If I look at the monthly time frame out here, yeah, no, no bearish signal at all. 
In fact, it's it's a very bullish, uh, uh, which really takes us back to that consolidation or breakout level. So, Melody, I hope that helps you out with regard to Amazon and what it is communicating to you at 145 in the afternoon. So thanks so much for writing in. So the good news is we've got through uh, all of the requests out there. That's a beautiful thing. We still have five minutes left in this segment. So with that being said, let's go take a look at a number of different uh, charts out here. The only area of concern, or there's two areas of concern. I mentioned this during the uh, break. I'm sorry, the break the, at the uh, market, the uh, 1 o'clock market update. And those two things are only inside the S&P 500. I'm not getting the same set of signals inside the NASDAQ 100. And that set of signals inside the NASDAQ 100, you've got the QQEW to new all-time high matching the QQQ series. So that says that move is real. Not that the move here in these spies is not real. It just hasn't been confirmed by the equal weight. The equal weighted ETF, RSP, if price closed above 152.85, then it would be a different story and say, okay, I want to move higher. That in combination with the spot volatility, which still is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. That says keep an eye on 1781. You're trading at 1811. If 1781 fails, meaning price closes back below it, then it's all-out bullish mode going to the S&P 500. If we look at the New York Stock Exchange, New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line is still below its zero threshold level. It's at minus 38. And as long as that is the case, the message there is that sellers are in control of the general markets out here. But inside the New York Stock Exchange, you've got a number of bond funds and so forth. So, um, you know, are you going to use this as your signal to be short the market? You could. I could see that. I wouldn't. Not just yet. I'd, I'd be looking for some other type of signals, like a, like a signal on a short-term basis. Well, Stevie, if you said you'd be looking for a signal on a short-term basis, then, then show me the short-term charts. Okay, I'll do just that. We're going to go ahead and change panels out here because I, too, am interested in what are the short-term time frame charts showing us. So here we'll take a look at those 30-minute charts for the ES, the NQ, the YM, the Dow, and the Russell 2000. So where are we going to start? We're going to start by expanding out the ES Mini. What do we have inside the ES Mini? So on Friday, going into the close, we had a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal that was triggered. And then um, it really confirmed by the, by the uh, close of the futures contract uh, because price uh, generated a bearish engulfing candle and closed below that oscillator and change line out here. And then what price did was it went right where it should have, right back to its breakout level, 43.78. Granted, there was a close below it at 4.30 in the morning, but that didn't last. That was just a one-hit wonder. The very next session, bar the bar gets back above that. Now, what the ES has done, this generated a TD9 count at 10 o'clock this morning. And by the time we got to 11.30, price negated that pattern. Price is above its green oscillator and change line. It's just churning around out here. But the 30-minute time frame chart is bullish. It will remain bullish unless price closes below 43.97. Then it will switch to neutral or bearish, which would just simply say price would be targeting 43.83. When I say bullish and bearish, especially right now, I'm just referring to directionally speaking out here. And directionally speaking, the ES Mini for its 30-minute time frame is bullish. Granted, there's a battle at 44.10. That's the top of its profile. Clear that? It's off to the races to the upside. Inside the NQ, this morning it forms a buy the D point. It completes, uh, well, it actually completed the buy the D point right here at the same time the es mini at 4:30 or 5 o'clock was generating its bullish signal so too was the nq it formed that little bullish piercing candle now uh it looks like there may be a no there's not going to be a td9 count even though bar number eight completed at 130 it doesn't look like this is going to form any kind of td9 count and certainly not one of topping formation because the high right now is on bar number six, but price is below the close of bar number five. So this pattern is likely to vanish by 2 p.m. So no topping signal out here. And if price can remain above 15, 110, 75, that's a signal that it too wants to move to higher ground. If we take a look at the Dow equity future contract, it formed a nice roads momentum indicator top. That was confirmed with a dark cloud cover candle, very much like we took a look at inside the ES mini. Now, in this case, this also... Now, it didn't form an A to B equal CD to the downside. I don't have a real good reason for you. I don't have a pattern, that is, other than what was going on inside the ES and the NQ. And that says, hey, guess what? The ES and the NQ maybe are the ones that are controlling this market, not the Dow. But what has the Dow done? Well, the Dow generated a TD9 count top. It did that at 10 o'clock this morning. That high is 34,984. And if price can close above 34,984, 
you're at 34.984 right now. <laughs> Gotta love that. If price closes, closes above 34.98. Wait, wait, was that the, that doesn't look like the high. 34.991. 34.991 is the magic number. You close above 34.991, the Dow Equity Future contract is telling you it wants to continue to head higher. I'm not saying that it's bearish, directly speaking. It's bullish right now because price is above its green oscillator and change line, and it has market profiles. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we'll use this last two minutes here as best I can. Uh, so I had some conversations with some uh, friends that listen to the show regularly out, out here uh, over the weekend. And their questions to me were, help me understand the global flow of capital. And so, you know, and, and these are not folks that are technically inclined. They don't, uh, they're not chartists or, or anything. And they think that everything that I talk about is foreign language. TD9 count, oscillator and change line. I get it. So what I what I what I then did was I said to them I, I I expressed these questions I said do you trust the government in China and they said no I said do you trust uh, how about the government in Cuba no do you trust the uh, do you trust the uh, European Union do you trust the ECB do you trust uh, the government in Germany do you trust the government in Italy do you trust the government in Greece do you trust the government in Turkey 
And all the questions kept coming up, no, 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 no. I finally said, so do you trust the government in the United States? And they had to pause for a little bit of time and said, well, the response was, I trust the government of the United States more than I trust all of those governments. And I said, perfect. Now you understand the global flow of capital. If you were in charge of the global flow of capital and you could not keep it in cash and you had to invest it in anything you want, I don't care, I mean, stock market wise, it could be commodities, it could be a currency, it could be stocks in uh, Europe, it could be stocks in the US, where is it that you would park that money? Now, here is a six panel chart that shows you the Dow in the upper left versus other international indices out here. And we're gonna end it this way. Global flow of capital is always looking for confidence, no different than you or I. And as we take a look at the global flow of capital through the first 30 weeks out here, we can see that it is the U.S. that is out in front. And what is that signaling to you and I? All the problems going on overseas and the worst that they're going to get out there, that money's going to have to flow somewhere. And where is it going to flow? You're going to park it where you have the most confidence. And right now, folks, that is a good old U.S. of A. And so maybe the uh, unfavorable seasonal cycle is not going to happen this year. Folks, stay tuned for two more great hours, and I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific